Hello, I'm Councilmember Howard Miller from the City of Saratoga, and we are at the historic Warner Hutton House today here on the grounds of City Hall. Today we're here to talk about trash. As many of you probably know, uh, the City of Saratoga partnered with the City of Campbell, Los Gatos, and Montessorino about a decade ago to form the West Valley Solid Waste Management Authority. This authority's responsibility is to oversee the contracts for the solid waste collection, the trash man, and the solid waste disposal facility, the dump. We have entered into a new contract with, the, with our hauler, which should improve uh, the services that you have at your house with no change in the current rate structure and no change in what you see at the curb. Today I'm going to show you uh, some of the new and exciting recycle services that we have and I'm going to show you how to lower your trash bill. Come on, let's recycle. So I'm here at my enclosure for my trash cans, recycle bins, and yard waste containers. As you know, by city code, you cannot leave your trash cans out at the street. In fact, they're not supposed to be visible from the street. Many of us have enclosures located by side or in the back of our property uh, to conveniently contain our containers. So let's start today with our yard waste. In terms of what can go in here, a few changes have been made. You continue to put in all of your prunings, your yard chippings, branches under two inches. But starting uh, late last year, we've extended the contract to allow us to put in excess fruit or excess vegetables. You can't put cooked food in here or store-bought food, but excess items from your garden can be put into your green waste. Now let's turn our attention to trash and recycle. Many of you in the city have this size trash bin. I'm going to show you today how to turn this into a smaller trash bin and save yourself a lot of money. The smaller trash bin here is of great advantage to you. It's easier to handle and it costs a lot less on your monthly bill. So let me show you how you're going to get to this smaller can and that involves recycle. Much of our household waste gets to be sorted by you between our recycle bin, which everybody gets this large bin at no additional cost, and your solid waste bin. And with our new contract, there's a large number of new items that can go into your recycle bin. So let's start with the easy stuff. Various office papers, any plastic container that has the triangular seal on it, all bottles and glass, including broken bottles. Of course, newspaper, paper products. Bread bags. Milk cartons, even these orange juice ones. Good old fashioned cans and their lids. The high quality uh, magazines. Pretty much all cardboard. Pizza boxes from your favorite pizza parlor. They have to be food free inside, but a little grease on the box is still okay. Now for Christmas, many of us realized our smartphones were not as smart as we thought. These now, uh, starting March 1st, can also be conveniently recycled. For those who change their oil at home, you can place your used motor oil into these convenient containers and your filter into a convenient bag, and these can be placed alongside your recycled containers. Household batteries can be recycled. They need to be put into um, a Ziploc bag and then placed on top of your recycle container on pickup day. If you're unclear or have forgotten some of what's been covered, everybody was mailed uh, this convenient how-to guide that covers all of the possible items that go into recycle or trash or yard waste. Um, if it, do not recycle this, save this in your house, refer to it often. Together, we can take most of what goes into the solid waste flow and put it into the recycle flow.